tonight we are at Loveland Castle, also known as Chateau La Roche, which is in Loveland, Ohio. We will be investigating this castle that was hand built by Sir Harry Andrews. Uh, it took him 50 years to build this castle. Uh, some of the paranormal claims are of Harry himself. Uh, there's also a claim of a lady in white who possibly died in a cave nearby in a moonshine explosion and of a Viking that could be attached to one of the swords that still are in this castle on the second floor. I don't think this castle has been overly investigated, so we are very excited to see what we can find. This is the first castle that we have ever investigated, so come with us tonight as we are Hunters of the Unknown. Do you know Sir Holmes? I'm hearing like major footsteps. Is anybody else hearing that? Yeah, I am too. Like five solid footsteps. Yeah. Out there, right? Yep. Yeah. That's why I'm turning my ear to it because I'm trying to make sure that's what I'm hearing it from. This is our first investigation in a castle, and this is also our first investigation of 2017. So I'm really looking forward to get to stay the night in this cool medieval castle. Um, it was built by Sir, Sir Han Harry Andrews. Um, he built it by hand. Um, and he actually, when he died, he was cremated and his ashes were spread around the garden. So a lot of the knights that stay and take care of this castle, they claim that Harry's spirit still roams the halls. Go by that device on the floor and make it light up. That's over by the girls. Do the game they're playing. Go by that device on the floor and make it light up. That's over by the girls. Do the game they're playing. There's so much history um, with this property and there's also a river that's running by it um, that's actually flooded right now. So it's moving very swiftly. So I'm hoping that will create some energy and maybe give us some activity here. We do have uh, one new device we're gonna be using called the portal, which hooks up to our spirit box. And what it does is it cuts out all of that noise and it only leaves the voices. So you can only hear the voices over it. So I'm really excited to use that. Should work then. We actually hear a voice come through. We should just hear the voice, right? Yep. Yeah. Did you hear that? What did that oh, just say? Shit. Said yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. You know how this thing works more than we do. <laughs> that was great. Can you say something else? Um, we're here at Loveland Castle in uh, Castle in Ohio, and I'm really excited to be here for a couple of reasons. Coming here, um, the castle is a lot smaller in size as opposed to the pictures that are posted online. But um, from what we found out from one of the uh, nights here, uh, there definitely seems to be a lot more activity, I feel, that than what he proposed other people have seen. So I'm really excited to get in and investigate that. And um, the bottom line is, is that from what we have read and the research that was done on the castle, it doesn't seem like there's been a lot of death or um, anything of that nature that would be considered paranormal. However, I feel that there's almost a sense of like hush hush going on around here as to other activity that might have happened. You just have something happen? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It was weird though. I mean, people say when Harry touches their shoulders, tapping on the shoulder or something. <laughs> No, it felt like it felt like, uh, like a little nail. Oh, like a, do you like mean a, like a like fingernail? A prick? Yeah, like it felt like if I had a fingernail, like a girl did, and like just took it and like went like this with it. Is it like the tip of a sword poking you? Somebody's trying to knight you. Oh, that's not even funny. And you're right. You're sitting right by the swords. That's right my there. chair breaking. What was that? Hey, my name's Joey. 
And I'm looking forward to seeing some of the uh, spirits that we have here today. And I hope that we have a really good night and we find some cool stuff. Hi. 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 Hi, someone. Hi everybody, my name is Joe and we're here at uh, the castle tonight and I'm looking forward to a really good investigation. There's a lot of allegations of uh, Harry and his spirit still remaining here. He had a lot vested in building this structure and the people here that support this building now, uh, they take care of it really well and uh, they say that uh, they, you know, the person that walked us through it said he believes that his spirit's here. That's like a one. Is it like greedy? It sounded like it almost sounded like Harry. I thought it said Harry. Though. <laughs> Is somebody touch Victor. Sounds like a woman in the background. Me. That sounded like a woman. Yeah, I said me. Yeah. Like someone was like answering a question. Me? Yeah. You want to touch him again? I did say that earlier too, remember? Yeah, you didn't touch him yet. <laughs> she took you up on that offer. You got a secret admirer, I think. Hmm. Oh man. I don't I don't know what just I just saw like a like, I was like, is my contact messed up? I just saw, like, a big cloud. Like, a big, white, fuzzy, circular cloud, like, right there. In this room or in the in next the next room? In the next room. Like, right through the doorway. And I was like, oh, is that my con? Did you turn the light on? What? Any of you guys try the light out this way? No. No. Did you just see something here? No. What'd you see? You said that. I could hear something, and I saw a light. Come here. That's pretty cool. Holy crap. I just saw a cloud right there where you're standing. Oh, I got goosebumps. I just saw like a, like a apparition, like a partial apparition form or something. I thought it was my contact that got messed up. Like when you were talking about what was going on, you felt something? It was almost like someone, you, you took your light and shined it out there briefly, like a car went by. Car light. And no car lights came through this way at all. No, no nothing illuminated the room. Nobody out. turned because a light on at all. As soon as you said like, "Hey, there's a mist or something like that," I heard a noise. It seemed like to come behind me, and then there was. It was like that glass display case out there. Yeah. Sort of like lit up. And she had a camera light. Not on bright. The time. Not bright, but just, just enough. I mean, a little bit. I was just like, I was sitting here <coughs> filming, like, filming you guys like this, and I glanced over and I thought my contact was messed up. Yeah, as soon as you said that, that's what And I happened. saw, it was like a ball, like... Really? I don't know, maybe two feet in diameter, just like hovering. And then I like blinked, because I'm like, what's going on? And it was gone. Hi, I'm Steve. I'm kind of new to the group. I'm going to be filming a little bit. We're in this freaking awesome castle here in Loveland, uh, Ohio. Uh, hoping to catch some poltergeist on film, so uh, I'm looking forward to that tonight. Okay, so this is the case that kind of lit up. Oh, was it in this room? Oh, that's what I was thinking. That case. Yeah. Is this case over here? It was this case right here, and it was more like it was more like a reflection, like someone had taken a light and just it was just a reflection, real quick. That's all it was. So wait, is there any way? That the light could have bounced from in there where Madeline was to that case over here to over in here. If she would have moved, go, 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 yeah, I'll go, yeah, I'll go, go back in there and try it. Yeah, because she was sitting in that chair and she had the camera facing this way. Because there are a lot, there's lots and lots of freaking windows. Hold on. I can't see crap anymore. Okay, all right. All right, I have the camera to where that spirit box was, and now I'm turning it toward you guys. 
Shining it that way. Turning it around. No, no change at all. Nothing. No, no. There's no change at all. Okay. So it was pretty cool. We were upstairs and I was operating the camcorder at the time. And I had it sitting on my knee and I was filming Cindy and Joey. And I turned to look down the hallway and I saw a completely round, it was really strange, but it wasn't like an organic shape. It was, it was really round, um, almost like a plume of smoke or a white mist. And I blinked a couple times thinking that it was something on my contact or my contact was messed up, but when I blinked it was gone. And at the same time, like right as soon as I saw it, then I was like, I don't know what I just saw. I just saw like an apparition or something, some sort of plume of smoke. Steve, who was sitting in the room next to us, said he saw a ball of light, like some sort of light. So I don't know, it's kind of weird. We both saw something at the same time in the same kind of area. So it was pretty cool. When I was sitting in the room, I was away from the whole group. Uh, I heard a noise and then I saw this light being reflected off the glass case. So as soon as I saw the light, Madeline in the other room said, hey, did you all hear that? Blah, 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 blah. And I said, yeah, I heard something. And everyone got up, started reviewing tapes. We still don't know what it was. What's your favorite food, Harry? Food. Mm hmm You thought it said food? Yeah. yeah. That was weird. I thought, I don't know. I thought it said lemon. So your favorite food is food? <laughs> All of it. All the food. <laughs> All of it. I agree. Just watch this, like, run as loud as it can say it. Like, run! <laughs> <laughs> Did it say run? What did it say? I, I, that's what I thought I heard oh. too. I guess it could have been. Oh boy. Our friend is in the other room with headphones on. If you go by her and tell her something, she can relay the message to us. That way it proves to us That's going off. that there's someone here. Hello? That was weird. You hear what I was hearing? Someone's here with us. Can you light those lights up to red? Go and tell her what your favorite article in that room is. So she can tell us. That's the most activity I've seen in a while. Yeah. Can you light it up to red? Try harder, make it go to red. A little harder. Go to red.
hearing any words at all. Hmm. Like zip, like nothing. But no, I, I, I heard like a noise in there. Well, we asked a bunch of questions that would have them say something to you and then you yell it out, but nothing with the K2's going off like this. You want me to, I'll try it. Okay, you want to try it? Yeah, sure. Here, I got it on the audience all the way down. Just, okay. uh, those, those two nights in there are totally creeping me out, too. <laughs> It's so creepy. Is they are, are they? Go when we were still there? Yeah, everything's still going. You just have to turn the volume oh, up on. When we were in here before, like when you girls were setting stuff up, it was just us guys. Like we, we both, we all thought we saw the one of them like move. Thought what? The, the one, the, like the one on the left. We thought we did. It's just like the they way they are. They're so fucking Yeah, we see them in the bed, right? And that they, yeah. Yeah. They weren't. They didn't bother me at all before, at all. I moved it. The K2? Yeah. Oh, the K2 is one? And it, it was, yeah. And it seemed like the, the one the one on the right. The, okay. The one on the right. The one on the right and the black. I, it, it almost seemed like I could see somebody in it. You know, like, see there. That's, <laughs> that's fucked up. That's creepy.